Jojo has fun. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Jojo has fun. Now I'm taking the test. Jojo's taking the test. I've taken it before, so I'm worried. How recently? Like a month ago. Oh, Jesus. But I don't I don't remember what I picked. I just so it's, okay. it's fresh to me now. Well, and like you shouldn't. It shouldn't, shouldn't matter. Have, I shouldn't be that different. Well, it shouldn't matter because like these, the answers to these questions generally should be like, well, obviously that's the answer. Right. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you've taken it recently or not. Okay. Except that, oh shit, except that I, uh, I've probably like beaten you a lot more since then. So sure. Yeah. Okay. So you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. We're just getting right uh, into it. Strongly agree. Okay. You often get lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. So lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget uh, your surroundings. Agree. Regular agree. Medium agree. Yeah. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Strongly disagree. That's what I thought. My inbox has like a thousand emails all disorganized. Uh. You find it. Oh, you find sorry. it easy. Shut up. Sorry. To stay relaxed, even when there's some pressure. Strongly agree. You do not usually initiate conversation. Strongly agree. Or actually, medium agree. I'm getting better. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. Disagree. Medium disagree. Medium disagree. I'll do shit for the fuck of it. You feel superior to other people. Strongly disagree. Really? Yeah, I don't feel like I'm better than anybody. Wow. I, 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 I wonder where that came from. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah she's just, sitting next to me with a fucking baby. <laughs> no, being, I, just, I, just don't, I just don't think that way. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Disagree. Medium disagree. You are usually highly motivated and energetic. Uh, I'm going to say agree because I'm just thinking of like when I'm in a situation. You do a lot of work. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Small agree. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Strong disagree. Tell me about it. <laughs> Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Strong disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Messy. You do not mind being the center of attention. Um, strong agree. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Late, I'm going to say agree. I, I would say it used to be strong, strong agree, but I'm getting a little better at being practical. People can rarely upset you. Just remember the D&D &D incident. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. The D&D &D incident was like, that's that one in a million time when I obsess about it. So, like, I would say strong agree. But when I get upset, it's like, he oh, never I'll, lets I will it not go. let it go. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Disagree. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Strong disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. You and Holly are going to get in a fight later. <laughs> Agree. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. I'm, I'm going to say slight agree. Because I, 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 I'm going I'm I'm to end up arguing with Myers Briggs. What, we can't. Why are you no. arguing with the Myers Briggs? I don't know. It's fine. Stop it's judging fine. me. I'm just trying to be myself. I'm 74% judging you right now. Apparently. 76. You rarely worry about your actions, how your actions affect other people. Um, agree. Regular agree. Your work style is closer to random <laughs> energy spikes than to a methodical... Strong agree. Yeah. Strong agree. You're often envious of others. It's the, so, the word often. Slight agree. 
Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that you're often envious. I I do like. There's a couple of people who I think about from time to time. I'm like, God, how do I get there? And yeah, they're, they're doing an, so much cool stuff. An interesting book or video game is often better than a social event. <sighs> uh, medium agree. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Disagree. Strong disagree or medium, medium disagree? Medium disagree. I love being adaptable. You rarely get carried away by fantasies or ideas. Strong disagree. You often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature. Uh, medium N- agree. Neither of us ever go outside. I can't believe they asked I, that question. I used to take lots of walks when I was younger. <laughs> For exactly that reason. To get lost yeah. in thought. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start to worry if you said something wrong. Um, disagree. Medium disagree. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. Medium agree. Fucking dumb kid. Well, that's uh, why he'll be friends with Pip. You do not let other people influence your actions. You can bend that child to your will. I do not let other people strong agree. Uh, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> do I, Kim? <laughs> how do I? I don't know. Someone help me how I feel. Uh, when you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on real world and its events. Disagree. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Yeah, strong disagree. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> You are more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Agree. I I'll have a I'll have like a framework of an idea, but I'll make it up as I go more often. Your emotions around. control you more than you control them. Agree. Maybe actually strong agree. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or role playing activities. Medium agree. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Strong agree. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Medium agree. You are a relatively reserved and quiet person. (laughs) Well, I would actually, that's, I would say that's a medium agree. Because when I'm not here, I'm very quiet. When yeah. I'm not performing, I'm very quiet. This kid's sweaty. Uh, if you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. Huh. Well, I don't know. I got Twitter Jeff, so. <laughs> he's a good, he's a good <laughs> he's performer. Great. Um, I f- yeah, slight agree. I think I would probably find it hard, but I'd still do it. You often contemplate the reason for human existence. Medium agree. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Medium disagree. Who are you? Your friend. (laughs) Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Medium agree. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest a way to deal with the problem. Strong agree. You rarely feel insecure. Didn't we already answer that? No. Okay. You rarely feel insecure. Uh, Medium agree. You have no difficulties coming up with personal timetables and sticking to it. Strong disagree. (laughs) Yeah. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Disagree. Medium disagree. You think that everyone's views should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts. Disagree. Good. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> you feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Agree. You frequently misplace your things. Strong agree. <laughs> I lost my keys today. <laughs> you see yourself as very emotionally stable. You need to have a little Medium bin that you disagree. put them in. You're right, I know, but I, I lose the dish. Oh, God. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Strong agree. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Strong disagree. You usually find it difficult to relax when taking, talking in front of many people. Strong disagree. 
Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience and your imagination. Whoa. Um, more on your experience than your imagination. What does that mean? Uh, that you are you do things because you've done them before, not because you think you know how it's going to end up. Oh, okay. Um, disagree. You worry too much about what other people think. Disagree. If the room is full, you stay close to the walls and avoid the center. Agree. You have a tendency to procrastinate you, until there's not enough time. Take. Ah! Agree. Well, slight agree. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Strong disagree. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Slight agree. Actually, agree. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things. Books, Strong art, agree. movies, hentai. You often take initiative in social situations. The term is dojinshi. Strong disagree. Er, medium disagree. See what I got. Maybe it's different. Oh, boy. Oh, it's changed. It's changed. No one can stop you from dreaming. Dreaming. <laughs> You're the mediator. See, I am. You are like 50, almost 50-50. Holy shit. Wow. I am very intuitive. I'm very feeling. You're uh, very prospecting. Wow. I'm very assertive. We are like the opposite people. Let's scroll down. Let's see what my other results are. Okay. Start reading. Okay. Mediator. Um, let's see. You're a, wait, you're an INFP minus A minus T. Mediator personalities are idealists that always look for a hint of good, even the worst people in events, searching for ways to make things better. While they may be perceived as calm, reserved, or even shy, mediators have an inner flame and passion that can truly shine, comprising just 4% of the population. The risk of feeling misunderstood is high for mediator personality types. But See? They Holly, you're misunderstanding him. Like-minded people <laughs> to spend their time with, harmony they feel will be a fountain of joy and inspiration. Aww. Being part of the diplomat role group, mediators are guided by their principles rather than by logic as analysts, excitement as or explorers, and practicality as sentinels. When, those sound like, like classes in a D&D game. Right? When deciding on how to move forward, they will look to honor, they look to honor beauty, morality, and virtue. Do you want to be Mediators a Mediators are led a by pure... What am I, a fucking D&D <laughs> character? This is ridiculous. <laughs> people who share... This is my type. People who share the media, mediator personality type are proud of this quality, and rightly so, but not everyone understands the drive behind these feelings that lead to isolation. Wait, and your quote, you get Tolkien as your quote? All that, Steve all that Jobs. is gold does not glitter, and not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are reached by the front. This was, you know, what's so crazy. This was totally not the one I got the first two times I took this. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Um, let's see. We know what we are, but we're not what we may be. Uh, at their best, these qualities enable mediators to communicate deeply with others, easily speaking in metaphor and parable, and understanding, creating symbols to share their ideas. Fantasy worlds, in particular, uh, fascinate mediators more often than other personality types. The strength of their visionary communication style lends itself well to creative works, and it comes oh. as no surprise that many mediators are poets, writers, and actors. Understanding themselves and their place in the world is important to mediators, and they explore these ideas by projecting themselves in their work. Mediators have a talent for self-expression, revealing their beauty and their secrets through metaphor and fictional character. <gasps> Mediator's ability with language doesn't stop with their native tongue. As most who share diplomat personality types, they're considered gifted when it comes to learning languages. <laughs> Do you speak any other languages? No, but I was able to pass the translation portion of my PhD exam without ever having learned Spanish. Oh, wow. Their gift for communication also lends itself well to mediator's desire for harmony, a recurring theme of diplomats, and helps them to move forward as they find their calling. Um, unlike their extroverted cousins, mediators focus their attention on a few people, a single worthy cause, spread too thinly, they'll run out of energy, and even become dejected and overwhelmed by all the bad they can't fix. This is a sad sight for mediators' friends who will depend on their rosy outlook. Wow. I can't believe that you're the rosy outlook in our friend group. Well, that, well, that, that does sound like me a little bit lately, <laughs> but not... Because I'm just like... <laughs> well, no, 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 just the thing about... Uh, about <laughs> spreading too thin that you run out of energy. That that sounds a little close. Yeah. If they are not careful, 
Mediators can lose themselves in their quest for good and neglect the day-to-day upkeep that life demands. Mediators often drift into deep thought, enjoying contemplating the hypothetical and philosophical more than other personality types. Mediators may start to lose touch with drawing into hermit mode. Hermit and it mode! Takes it takes a great deal of energy from their friends or partner to bring them back to the real. Yeah, that sounds true. Yeah, that sounds like you. Oh, my yeah. God. Wait, no. I want to see who you are. Shakespeare, Tolkien, Bjork, known wife beater, Johnny Depp, oh God. Julia Roberts, Lisa Kudrow, Tom Hilston, Alicia Keys, Frodo Baggins, <laughs> Anne of the Green Gables, Fox Mulder. Yes. <laughs> Nerd. And Emily Plain and Arwen of the Lord of the Rings. Wow. And also Sybil Branson from Dunge and Ubi. And Land Sweets of Bones. And Constantine <laughs> Levin of Anna Karenina. Karenina. Let's see, let's see uh, strengths and weaknesses. Strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Look at that fucking fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and I can say that. Because there's fairies. Because there's fairies. <laughs> But I feel like that sound clip is going to get me out of the You're not going to be a governor with that attitude. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Mediators, friends, and loved ones come to admire and depend on them for their optimism, their unshaken belief that all people are good. Perhaps simply misunderstood lends itself to an incredibly resilient attitude in the face of hardship. I always just thought that was because you don't care. It's not that you think everybody's good. You're just like, ah, fuck it. Let's do it for whatever reason. Uh, Hitler made the trains run on time or whatever. Seek the value. (laughs) Wow, Kim. It was Mussolini. (laughs) <laughs> wow D- get your fascists right <laughs> people with a mediator personality type have no interest in having power over others and don't much care for domineering attitudes at all they prefer a more diplomatic approach and work hard to ensure that every voice and perspective is heard <laughs> <laughs> open minded and flexible a live and let attitude comes naturally to mediators uh, oh. very creative okay passionate and energetic when something captures the mediator's attention speak their beliefs and go all in that's true yeah Dedicated and hardworking while focusing on the challenges of the moment. They may give up when the going gets tough. Mediators, especially assertive ones, have a benefit of far-reaching vision. Okay. <gasps> Weaknesses. Too idealistic. Yes. Too yeah, you think we're going to be famous. You buy a lot of shit for us. Mediators see themselves as selfish sometimes. Mm. Um, impractical, kind of. Dislike dealing with data. No. No. That's not true. Take things personally. That is also not true. <laughs> and I have a fence on t- <laughs> And I have about a thousand videos that prove that I don't <laughs> take things personally. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Difficult to get to know. That is not true about me. Okay. Romantic relationships. This is weird. Scroll down. Wait, 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 Miss Perra. Our dreamy idealists in the pursuit of perfect relationship, this quality shows strongest, never short in imagination, and mediators dream of a perfect relationship forming an image of this pedestal ideal as their soulmate, playing and replaying scenarios in their head of how things will be. No. This is a role no person can hope to fill, and people with the mediator personality type. No, that's not me. <laughs> how about this? Fortunately, these are all qualities that mediators are known for, and while it can be a challenge to separate long-fostered fantasy from reality, mediators' tendency to focus their attention on just a few people in their lives means they will approach new relationships wholeheartedly with a sense of inherent value, dedication, and trust. Mediators aren't necessarily in a rush to commit. Ah. Uh. I don't know that that's true at all. Well, um, you're, you don't have to be in a rush to commit because you had committed like way early. Yeah. And then you just never have to. Uh, in, you in, just don't leave. <laughs> in dating, mediators often start with a flurry of comparisons, exploring all the ways the current flame matches with the ideal they've imagined. No, I do not do that. I've never done that. Where are my wontons? I'm dying. I don't, I don't know. Jeff, where are the wontons? Sure they are. Yeah. Do you have like the Domino's app? Or Listen, it's like Jeff, we've both decided we're okay with firing you. <laughs> yeah. We have no qualms. Yeah. We have a surprising amount of no qualms. <laughs> uh, let's see. As a, me- as a relationship takes hold, people with mediator personality will show themselves to be passionate, hopeless romantics while respecting their partner's independence. Wow. Uh, the aversion to conflict and contributing greatly to stability in the relationship when done right is probably the most urgent quality for mediators to work on. I've crossed my arms in disagreement about this. <laughs> I get. I don't know. This doesn't fit me at all. I do not see this at all. No. Let's look at our friendship. Okay. Um, let's see. The true friends of people with the media mediator personality are the ones they made along the way, and they tend to be <laughs> few and far between. But those that make the cut are often friends for life. The challenge is the many 
thou no. That uh, doesn't. That doesn't. Sound I don't true. know. You do have very few friends. I do. <laughs> uh, mediators <laughs> crave the depth of mutual human understanding that tire in social situations. They are excellent at reading and others' feelings and motiv- motivations, but often unwilling to provide others with this. No. Uh, in a lot of ways, this limits the potential pool of friends of other personality types in the diplomat role group who tend to pick up on a, sc- a subtle clues left by media friends and who are more likely than not to enjoy something of a human enigma. A friendship with a turbulent executive That's on the other me! Hand, governed by social conventions and community par- uh, participation as they are would almost be a non sequitur. Though media, this is not right. No. This is totally wrong. Yeah, it's like JoJo and Kim shouldn't be friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually what it's saying yeah it's like specifically these two types of people bad idea i don't i i i guess i answered differently enough that it gave me a different one but it didn't feel like i did well let's see what kind of a parent you'd be okay people who share the mediator personality types share a tendency to not only strive to learn and grow as principled moral individuals but to bring like-minded people on that journey with them in their own subtle and often shy way Mediators want to lead others forward as kindred spirits. They will find no greater opportunity for this than parenthood. <gasps> You're going to grow a little person and make them do things with you. No, <laughs> I am not, Kim. <laughs> How <laughs> fucking dare you? <laughs> you want Pip? No. Okay. No one does. Hear that, Pip? You are leftovers of humanity. Oh, but you're so cute. Well, I guess this was interesting. This was interesting. That there mine was wrong. There are a lot of it that was right, though. You think? Yeah. I think that you are a pr- pretty fair balance of introverted and extroverted. That's true. Uh, um, you, I think you're intuitive, and yeah. you're more feeling than logic. That's true. And you're more prospecting than judging. That's true. And I guess you're assertive. You do stuff. Yeah, I guess all accurate. But all the descriptions are like the the one that I got originally was the campaigner. And that one was like, oh, yeah, that's who I am. Yeah. So I'm surprised that this came out as you different. start shit. Yeah. Um, Maybe you just answered a few differently. And I you're get, like well, yeah, close. I guess I guess I'm like on the cusp between mediator and campaigner. So let's see. Let's see what the campaigner is. Can, I think you can just click mediator and I'll let you select it mediator uh wait go to personality types personality types uh diplomats campaigner campaigner um yeah see it is pretty similar yeah true free spirit often life of the party but unlike others uh campaigners are uh, less interested in sheer excitement and pleasure of the moment and are enjoying good social and emotional connections they make Charming, independent, energetic, and compassionate. Seven percent that comprise can be felt in any crowd. Yeah. Charming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, hold on. I just want to see who you're like. Oh my God, Will Smith and Drew Barrymore and Russell Brand. Wow. And Quentin Tarantano and Meg Ryan <laughs> and Kelly Clarkson and Michael Scott and Michael Scott and Phil Dunphy and Piper Chapman and Hoban Washburn, who got killed by a spike. Oh, spoilers for Firefly. Whoa. I don't know anything about Hunger Games. And PETA. Oh. Jennifer Keller. I don't... Uh, Car- yes! Wow. So I knew this I was a ends, Carrie. This ends the debate of uh, which Sex and the City girl you are. Yep. And Willy Wonka. Aww. Whatever the fuck that means. You always have a small green person behind you. That's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, All right, you guys. Yeah. So this was uh, the Myers Briggs test. Mine kind of wasn't super great, but Kim's was. Hope you guys like this. We'll be back to playing games tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That was. That was.